Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs and boats are for sale by owner. And I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded, customized 2020 G3 Sportsman 2400 fishing boat. This has a lot of custom features that I'll try to show off in the video. Uh, a lot of features that the actual owner uh, added on after he bought it. Brand new. This is a one owner boat. Uh, it does have the Atlas jack plate, just so I don't forget. Obviously, it has the Yamaha 250 four stroke V Max motor and it has 30 hours on the boat and motor. Uh, this, this was an upgrade, the 250 standard, it came with a 200 and the uh, does have the upgraded trolling motor, which has about 120. Uh, pound thrust and that was $3,500 and the Hummingbird Solex 12 uh, fish finder uh, sonar which basically was a $3,200 upgrade that the owner added on and it has a few other features that I'll try to go ahead and show in the video so let's go ahead and get started it does have the uh, aluminum trailer that is 2020 year model for the trailer it does tandem axle with aluminum alloy wheels disc brakes surge brakes This burgundy color is discontinued. This is a hard to find color. Uh, the owner is kind of uh, wondering why they even discontinued it because every time he goes on the lake, people compliment him on the color of the boat. But uh, definitely a beautiful boat. Pretty much excellent condition. This is the owner's only scratch that the owner knows about. And uh, everything else, uh, definitely beautiful boat. We're in 2022 right now, and this is a beautiful, excellent condition boat. And that aluminum trailer does have the fold away tongue. And it also spare tire is aluminum alloy wheel. The one of the big features that the owner upgraded on the trailer is the easy step system here. And while I've got a good view of it, the Minn Kota uh, trolling motor and this is uh, ties in syncs up with the bird uh, fish finder, the hummingbird fish finder and does all sorts of crazy stuff. It does have a remote control right here. And the owner says that he can pull this boat with this trolling motor four miles an hour. And again, it's 120 pound thrust. Usually they're about 80 pound from what the owner tells me. One of the, probably the biggest features if you've been looking at these uh, that you won't find on any other sportsman boat 2400 definitely is the custom bimini top the owner had his buddy customize uh, the bimini top for him it's all professionally done this is not done in some guy's garage uh, this is definitely top of the line heavy duty bimini top that you will not find on any other sportsman 2400 another big feature is the rod holders right here and this is all custom the mount I'm one-handed but you, you get the idea and you can actually adjust it and this is custom this is a custom job so that is one of a kind you won't find this setup on any other uh, sportsman I'm going to fo focus mo mostly on condition because I do not usually do boats. I do RVs. I'm certified RV sales rep. So, but this is a previous customer's boat, and he had me list his trailer a couple of years ago, and he asked me to come out and do his boat now. So, the only reason why the owner is selling the boat is because of health reasons. He just can't get in and out uh, like he used to. So, uh, anyway, that's the only reason why he's selling it. Again, custom. Let's try to hop up in this boat here. You do have a 50 gallon fuel cell. You do have two live wells, which I'll show you. 
kind of walk my way back slowly and then work my way up front. All the seats upholstery is in excellent condition. This is a 10 person boat and I'll show off that little badge there underneath the console that shows you it's a 10 person boat. Those custom rod holders are definitely cool and they're fully adjustable. All right. Let's go ahead and show off the live well and just so I don't forget there are four batteries in the battery compartment area. It came standard with one. The owner has done definitely a lot of upgrades with the batteries. 65 gallon uh, live well. The owner spent about $600 to put a pump in and it pumps from the uh, lake or uh, river, wherever you're floating on. And uh, anyway, he made this, uh, it's a washout pump. Uh, and you can wash out your whole uh, boat and then get all the fish guts off. But this is definitely something you are not going to find again on a sportsman. Here's your ladder there. I'm going to try to show off everything. And if I forget something, I do apologize, especially to the owner of this uh, boat. And the owner is very proud of the boat. He loves his boat. You do have the quick draw rod holders on the side over here. Start right and then work my way to the cockpit. Nice glove compartment for the passenger. And it locks. Looks like carbon fiber finish on that G3 badge there. Carbon fiber finish on the gauges here. That's good looking. G3 badge on the steering wheel. Horizon Explorer uh, radio and you do have the Hummingbird. It's the Solex 12 setup and you can, it's all GPS. It's got all the good stuff. It ties into the trolling motor. The owner says if he wants a place to go um, on a lake, it will actually show you the directions and where everything is and you can just tap on it and it will take you there. The trolling motor will, which is crazy. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So you can probably research more of that on the internet because I'm going to be very vague when it comes to stuff like this on this boat because I just do not know. Uh, you got lights, uh, lights, nav, and uh, uh, let's just pause right there for a sec. This is the cover. It's a rubber cover for the Hummingbird screen, touch screen there. Uh, cup holders. Always got to show off the cup holders. Here's your badge there to show off uh, capacities. The owner takes his little doggy and that's where the doggy goes up in the little storage area up underneath the cockpit area. The seats are in excellent condition, nice embedded G3 badge on all your seats. Uh, 1 through 10, 10 being the best as far as condition, I, I'd give it a 10. Uh, I think any dealer, if they were going to take it in on trade, would agree with me. It's just a little dirty, it's a little dusty. It's been kept inside. but. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. I think a dealer would be more than happy to take this thing in and probably use it as a pre-owned um, inventory, pre-owned piece, uh, showroom piece for their pre-owned inventory. Nice, uh, another live well there. And then this is a storage locker, and it's pretty huge. I'm on a gimbal with my camera, 
it's not acting right but anyway won't go down but anyway huge storage up underneath trim up and down manual uh, you get the idea and this is for your light and that's the GPS signal um, uh, whatever that is <laughs> it's part of the GPS system beautiful boat let's see if I can get down here without breaking my neck okay Again, one owner boat. It's been stored inside. Beautiful uh, condition. Yeah, I definitely give it an excellent condition. Well, with the exception of that scratch, but I would say it's better than average wear and tear. That little scratch right there. A lot of custom features. One of a kind. I know I didn't get everything on the boat. Uh, I do apologize if I point out, uh, missed something big, but uh, definitely, this is uh, definitely a beautiful boat. If you want to come and see the boat, uh, just call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it below. And uh, if you want to keep up to date on RVs and boats coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.